Welcome back, y'all. Sorry, it's been uh, sporadic with my video. Had a work project that was due. Got sick. Built a chicken coop. You know, all kinds of other shit that's not what you're supposed to be doing. But I'm trying to get all the chicken coop and all that kind of stuff banged out before it gets too hot. So, we'll get back on it. But today... We're heading to Orange County to pick up a car rotisserie. Kind of went back and forth if I should put the car in a rotisserie or not, but I think that's a good way to get all the car sandblasted and blah, blah, blah. So follow along. We're going to go down and pick this thing up. And the car's not ready to be put on a rotisserie yet, but at least I'll have it. And I've been looking on Craigslist a lot for something like this or Marketplace, and uh, this one just popped up, so I'm gonna go grab it. grab some fuel before we head down LA area gas is going up everybody wanted Biden in and now gas is going up got our fuel might as well run this thing to the damn car wash Good, how are you? Neutral, lovely. Get when they have the car 
sandblasted at a powder coat place. I'm not sure yet. It's 2,500 bucks, and I just don't know if I need to do it that way. But the goal is to get that thing completely stripped. Uh, make sure I'm probably going to try to get it to like a frame place and make sure that it's not bent or anything like that. It doesn't look like it's ever been in a, any major wrecks, but I do see a place where it looks like somebody took like a port of power and pushed the front, um, I guess the front clip, like the radiator bolts and stuff. It looks like they pushed that out. So I may take it over to a place just to make sure before we start welding in roll cages and mini tubbing and all that, it'd probably behoove us to make sure that everything's straight before we start doing that. So but anyways, the goal is to get that thing apart, get all the old paint off it. There's a lot of Bondo on it. I look and I can see that the panel's straight, but it looks like they took a lot of Bondo and tried to cover up the holes, which is kind of the wrong way to do it. So I really want to see what's underneath there and make sure that they weren't covering up a bunch of, you know, I don't know, rust or something that you can't see. So once that's done, um, get the car at least in primer. And I'd like to have, you know, all of the mini tub in, roll cage, uh, what I'm, whatever I'm doing with the front clip as far as like front half in it. I'd like to have all that done before it ever goes to a paint job or anything like that. Um, obviously paint would be very, very last. Um, I'm even thinking, you know, get the motor in it and get uh, all the turbo piping and all that stuff done before it ever goes to paint and then blow the car all the way back apart, get the car painted, put it back together, and so there you go. That's the plan. Obviously when I'm putting it back together, I'll go in a little more detail of what it is that I'm doing, but you know didn't know what what people were expecting so got this trailer loaded up time to head out In out for lunch, about to get down on some of this. This is why I could never live down here. I hate traffic. This is for the birds. Alright, so this is what we picked up yesterday. Nothing special. It's an old rotisserie setup. Don't think it's homemade. I think it's actually one somebody bought from somewhere, but uh, I think it'll work just fine for what we're doing. Anyhow, today 
start taking the doors off this thing, get the chrome off of it, windows out, stuff like that. So here we go. cut so that I don't mess up this stainless steel piece because this stuff although it's not super shiny it's in really good shape so mm, I wanted my dad to help me do this but he's busy so I guess we just try to cut this and we'll see how see how it goes So the inside's rotted too, really bad, but I think I might try to get all the rotted stuff from the inside of the window, then push the window out and then uh, pull this out. I don't know if you guys can, if I can get you to tighten up so you can see it, but so that, that, that right there is what's kind of held in with the rubber. You know, the rubber goes in there and holds this piece of stainless in. So you basically got to, remove this section because the back part will come out easy however i'm afraid i'm going to break this window uh, this stuff is rock hard i mean rock hard so i think i'm going to go inside take you guys inside and then i'm going to remove what's on the inside and maybe we can push this window out then i can get to the trim easier and i won't break the window i don't want to break the window and try to get all this without busting the window out. These the parts for this little car are hard to get. As you can see, for anybody else who might ever be doing one of these cars, who knows, but headliner has to go in before the glass goes in, if you can see that right there. My dad has an upholstery shop, so something I kind of pay attention to, but if you don't know, headliner's got to go in before the rubber goes in in these cars to do it the right way. You might find somebody that'll 
and there's a lot of hacks in upholstery business, but you might find somebody that'll, if the rubber's good enough, I just try to tuck the uh, headliner in here, but that's not the way to do it. Headliner is supposed to go in first, and then the window. One thing that sucks with making YouTube videos is you can't listen to music because of the freaking copyright BS. I like listening to music, so I might time up you guys for some of this stuff, like I told you before. All right, I've taken all the rubber off on the inside, just broke it off. Taking it all off on the inside, and see, see that? Now the window's gonna come out. So, I think I can pull the window out. Then we'll be able to get the stainless off. All right, y'all, got the window out. I'll have to go through here and vacuum this, but as you can tell, like I was telling you before, headliner goes in first, then the glass. But a um, little rust right here. It doesn't look, it doesn't look so bad. I think we're gonna be all right. Over there, it looks, over there is worse as far as rust, but. All this looks really good. Maybe I'll have to get in here and see with a wire wheel or whatever. That looks like it's got a little rusty, but not bad. Somebody's got some silicone or something in here. Urethane. I'm trying to seal that up, so it must have leaked at one time. So let's see about let's see about this deal. All right, let's see about getting this off from here. Again, if you've never messed with windows, then you know, if you haven't ever messed with windows, if you hit any of these corner on the ground or something, you're gonna crack the window. So just know that. trying not to mess this stainless up because I'm gonna powder coat it black. And uh, the last thing you want, anything black, is a bunch of wavy, nasty looking trim. And as you can see, when, when this goes back in the car, the bottom goes in first and then this will go in last. I believe the way this works is you get the rubber on the window and get all the stainless in the rubber and then the window goes back in the car with a rope around it and you seal it that way. I'll have to have my dad uh, help me. I'm pretty sure that's how, that's how these work. This will be a lot easier to get apart now. Put the window's out. I won't fuck these things up. Bingo. Not bad. So that was the easy part. Now is all this this stuff right here. Get all this out without messing this up. And obviously without messing up the front window. I gotta get in here and figure out how this there might be screws in here or something. But I gotta figure out how to get in here and get this stuff off without messing it up. So I can get this roof one off. Make sure we ain't got no rust hiding in there. And then obviously the front, I mean, you can see big old gap right here. Water could get in there and we could have rust. So put you guys on a time lapse so I can pump the tunes up and, and, and rock and roll.
right, y'all, so my pops is coming over. There's a couple drip rail moldings that I'm not comfortable trying to take off. I think I'll mess them up. They look like they're easy to, to get off, but I kind of mess with it a little bit and I think I'll screw them up trying to get them off. But good news is uh, I don't see rust in any of the window stuff. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you. So I don't see any rust. I just kind of hit this up with a wire wheel. I was really concerned about this window. There was a ton of stuff that came out of it when I took the trim off. But uh, these windows so far look really good. I was nervous about back here too, but this is all needs to be you know, cleaned up obviously, but there's no rot through. Not even down here on the where the package tray goes, which I thought was gonna be uh, rotted through. So, very good. And started getting um, stuff out of the interior, like I took the dash pad off, got the instrument cluster out. I'm gonna rewire this car with uh, one of those leash streetcar kits. Um, obviously, I'll save everything, the factory harness, but if I can get my buddy J4 over here, probably going to have him help me when it's time wire this car with one of the leash streetcar kits since he's already wired a car before. And then over here too, uh, no rust like I had thought, even uh, under the fenders. Now this cow area, you know, where your heat and all that comes in your vent, I can put my finger in this hole and it's just full of dirt. So probably not today because it's been raining out, but I think I'll maybe get a hose and put a hose down in there and just let it run and hopefully it'll just wash all the water out right here. But uh, that's pretty much the progress for today. Been kind of going at it all day, dust everywhere, old broken up. Uh, window pieces and all that but we're getting after it yeah i need to get into the car and get the uh, door panels off and get the glass pulled out but it's like almost five o'clock been out here for quite a while and breathing in all this dust so once my dad helps me get these uh, drip rail moldings off i think that'll be it so thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch up with you after the drip rails moldings are off. It looks easy to get off. I didn't want to fuck it up. It looks like it just clips on there. It's like when I press around the mold the rail. Yeah, it's like when I push it.
All right, you guys, my pops came over and took him, I don't know, 35 minutes to get him off, but I would have absolutely screwed those up and I will probably screw them up when I go to put them back on. So I'm gonna need his help to get those back on. My pops is extremely, extremely meticulous. Had a car on Mopar muscle. Um, really, really, really pays attention to detail and knows what he's doing. So with that said, that'll end off this video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next round of wherever this project takes us. Not sure what's gonna happen next, but um, you guys will be here. See ya.